score in duplicate. Another program that allows you to score is called ACBL Score. It has this blue icon over here with the Ace of Spades. I double click on that. And nothing happens, uh, of course. Uh, there, you get this blue menu and you click OK to get started. And uh, on the cream colored menu you would click game then it asks you if you're ready to set up a game um, just a big white area okay so in the blue area you type the um, the date probably let's see the 21st of January 2014 and you click OK at the bottom left then it asks you if you're ready to set up a game and I would say yes click yes now you get a blank screen and you don't exactly know what to do but down in the left hand corner it says press F11, a function key, so I press F11, see what happens. And then up on the right hand side it it says I can add I can add a new game, so I click OK, I'm gonna add a new game. Then it asks me um if it if it's a pair game or a Swiss team or whatever and it's pretty well always a pair game, so I click OK. Now I get another menu that says type a letter. I usually pick the letter A for no reason at all. There's probably four or five letters you can pick, and then, then you click OK at the bottom. And then it asks for the color of the uh, whatever, the uh, table markers, and I I just pick white because I don't know and I don't have any reason for picking orange or whatever so I don't think it matters what color it is so all right now it asks me if this is a Mitchell movement or a howl a howl would occur if you have less than seven tables um, otherwise you just leave it on Mitchell and click OK then it asks you how many tables you're going to have. So, so I'd say 11 tables, and I click OK. Then it asks me how many rounds. Well, it it already has nine, so I I just click OK. Whoops, it screwed up. Uh, now what's happening? Looks like I have to do this all over again. So I click OK and uh, click OK again. And I type the letter of the A, click OK. Color is OK and uh, Mitchell, Mitchell's OK. Hurry up. And number of tables, oh, I lost the number of tables, was 11. Click OK. And number of rounds is already marked, so all I would do is click OK. The number of boards per round is 3, uh, so I click OK. And it's a standard, standard Mitchell, so, so I say OK. And I usually want number one, which or number two, the boards go down one table and the east west go up one table. So I don't want number three, but I think number one or number two would be all right. Click OK. And then it asks me if there's a sit out, is there a phantom pair? If I say yes, then I have to tell the computer which. Uh, which person is sitting out so if it's north south if east west is sitting out i would click east west and say okay 
and then it'll ask me what table that is. Usually it's the last table 11, but it could be table 7 or any other table, so I'll say OK. Then it tells me that the some boards will be factored up or down, so I say OK. And then I always pick up the travelers by the north-south pair number, so I always pick number 3, so and then that's OK. And the sanction number would be 0, um, say OK. And the event code would, would also be 0, click OK. And we won't have any master points, so down in here I just click no master points and OK. Then it asks me how many sessions, that's one, one session, and uh, it's not stratified, whatever that means. Um, and then include the overall rank, we'd say yes, and include the entire rank, yes. And then the, the name or the event name, which would be RMSS, maybe, and Tuesday. And since I, I can't click OK at the bottom, then we hit F9 uh, is the same. Click F9, and now it's done. Now we would like to enter some names, so we hit F3, function 3, F3. Ask me if I want to use the database. I would say yes. And then I press enter to start entering those names. But notice the cursor is over under player number. And nobody has a player number. So I have to hit F2 to, to get it at the beginning. And then I type the last name of the person. Just, just two letters is usually enough or three. Then I press enter, and then it, it shows me the, the name of the player, and usually Connie sits at table one, so I click OK. And then I have to, now the cursor's still in player number, so I have to hit F2 again, and I enter her partner's name, which is, uh, it was Gabby, but her last name starts with you. You are... A, then I press enter, and then I see her name up here on the top corner, and I click OK. So now I got those two names. Then I do the east-west player, I press enter, and I have to go through all this again. So I press F2 to get over to here, and I type, say, THI for Sue, and there's three people who have THI in their last name, so I have to pick the right one, so I click OK, and then I press F2 again. It's hard to get used to this. It's kind of annoying, and then uh, DR for Drozdiak, so I, then his name shows up, and I click OK. OK, after I finish entering names, I, I click OK, or I think I hit I can hit F9 again yeah so now I'm ready to enter scores so I either can click scores at the top of the screen or press F2 and F2 allows me to enter scores I have to keep dragging these little menus down so I can see the OK doesn't matter if I press enter now It'll allow me to enter the scores. And if North-South got a score of 120, I just enter the first two digits and I press the Enter key. So there's the 120 up here. If the next score, North-South, goes down 100, I only enter the number 10. And I press the negative sign, the minus sign, puts the score in the second column. And then I just go through all that until, well, let's finish that up. If I press Enter again, it'll just keep the same score. It'll put the same score on the next line and the next line. And then if North-South made a game like 3-no-Trump, press 40 and press Enter. 
and uh, the next team made 420 oops too many just the first two digits is all we need and then maybe the next person made a slam then I press 1440 144 and press enter then the next person goes down one or two let's say two two zero and a minus sign okay now I'm done with that so I just press enter twice once twice now I'm rent now I can enter the score on board number two so I start notice num team one and two never played this hand and neither did four so three is waiting for you to enter a score like 620 and if they're not vulnerable it won't let me enter 620 but looks like and it doesn't tell you yeah down here it tells you who's vulnerable but north south is vulnerable so let's say I tried to enter 42 it probably will tell me that it's it's an invalid score so it won't let me enter 42 so I would enter 1 0 and a minus and uh, just do that all the way down then I'm done with board two and I would go on to board three and all that stuff and then I'll just um, how do I, I I can exit out by pressing escape so I press escape escape and once I've entered all the scores I press escape again and then it it doesn't uh, yeah yeah, down below at the bottom it says press F4 to see the leaders. Oh, that would be the highest scores. So I press F4. Then it asks me if I want to show it on the screen or save it as a text file. First I'll put it on the screen to see who came first. So I, I don't have many names. I only entered two, uh, two pairs. So uh, pair A1 is down level 9 and whoever A pair 3 was north south they came first and number 10 came second and all that stuff so now I exit out of here or I might just save this I, I better save file and uh, save as and then I can I can just save it under either Wilson Center or or RMSS uh, uh, let's see if I have an RMSS uh, yeah no Willow Manor or I don't have I can make a folder though I'll call it RMSS and then I double click on it and save it and it it'll have the name the name will be the same as the date so it's easy to find so now I can copy this where it says clipboard and it says select all and then clipboard and copy. Then I can paste that in an email and uh, send it out as an email. So I'm pretty well done now. So I would press, uh, I would click the red X to exit out of this, exit out. And then I usually get the cream colored uh, menu and if I want to add names to the uh, that I don't have already I would click database and tournament player database and I can even import the names if I have them in a file where it says import so then I click the red X and I'm out of it so that's it that's the end of the scoring uh,